collateral consequences don't just matter to people with criminal records. They matter to everyone. Disenfranchisement changes the outcome of elections. Limits on employment affect the economic vitality of neighborhoods. And restrictions on financial aid, access to housing, and occupational licensing exacerbate pre-existing racial and social class disparities. Some collateral consequences make sense. They improve public safety in ways that are fair. But others impose burdens that are not offset by their benefits to society. This book outlines the full range of ways in which people who have served their sentences continue to be affected by long past criminal offenses. Doing so helps make these invisible punishments more visible in ways that we hope will help promote thoughtful reform. The good news is that lawyers and lawmakers are becoming increasingly aware of the problems caused by excessive collateral consequences. The US Attorney General has called on state officials to revisit their state codes and to repeal unnecessary restrictions. And groups like the American Bar Association and the Uniform Law Commission have proposed ways in which judges or other designated decision makers might be authorized to grant relief when appropriate. A few states, like Ohio and North Carolina, have even passed laws making it easier for people with criminal records to find work and to reintegrate into their families and communities. We are confident that these efforts are just the beginning of a move toward greater transparency and more careful legislation in this too long overlooked area of law. This book is a resource that engaged citizens, lawyers, and lawmakers can use in their efforts to advance much needed legal reform.